So today, I'm going to show you how to write equations for linear relationships. So the general form for a linear relationship is y equals mx plus b. Now that looks like a lot of variables, but I'll tell you the m is usually a number, and that number is the slope of the line. Slope is equal to rise over run, meaning the pattern of the points on your line. Okay, The b is also usually a number. That is our y-intercept. In other words, it's the point where the graph, your line, crosses the y-axis. All right, so we need to find two things in order to write our equation. And we just stick them here and here, and it'll be y equals some number x plus some other number for our equation. So let's do this. All right, so on our first example here, we've got our line. And let's start by finding the y-intercept. Here's my y-axis. This line crosses the y-axis here. Here's 0, here's negative 2, so my y-intercept is negative 1. So first step done. Next step, I need the slope. So I need to pick any two points. I'll pick these two points. And moving from left to right, I need to figure out how much up I have to go and how much to the right I have to go. That's what rise over run means. So from here to here, I have to go up one unit and to the right, three units. Up one, right three. And notice, it doesn't matter which two points I pick. I'll always have to go up one, right three. Up one, right three. Up one, right three. So I always pick whichever two points is easiest for me, which in this case over here was. So up one, right three means rise one, run three. So one over three is my slope, one third. So now that I have those two numbers, I can just stick them into this equation. My equation is y equals my slope x, one third times x, plus my y-intercept. But my y-intercept's negative one, so instead of writing plus the number, I'm just gonna write minus the number, minus one. There's my equation, y equals one third x minus one. All right, let's do another example. Notice this example, this line's going down and to the right. All right, so that's an important thing to notice. But let's start by finding that y-intercept. Here's my y-axis. My line crossed the y-axis here at right between four and six, so this is five. Okay, now for my slope, I'm gonna pick two points. Eh, I'll pick these two. And moving from left to right, notice I have to go down and to the right to go from one point to the other. All right, so I'm going down three steps and right two steps. So my slope is negative three over two. And again, notice it doesn't matter which two points I picked. It's always down three, right two. Down three, right two. Down three, right two. Down three, right two. All right, so my slope is negative three over two. So now I can write my equation, y equals my slope, negative three over two times x, plus my y-intercept, which is five. There is my equation. All right, we'll do two more examples. All right, here we go. This graph right here, we'll start with our y-intercept. The line crosses the y-axis right there, and that's three, okay. Now for my slope, I'll pick any two points. I'll pick these two over here. And moving from left to right, I have to go up and right. I have to go up two and right one. So my slope is two over one. But we can simplify this. Two over one as a fraction would just be two whole because two divided by one is two. So we'll use two as our slope. Now we can write our equation y equals my slope times x, two times x, plus my y-intercept, which is three. There's my equation. All right, last one, here we go. My graph, here's my y-axis. Notice it crosses the y-axis here at negative two, okay? And for my slope, notice from left to right, I'm going down and right each time. Now, how much down? 
one, two, three, four, down four, write one. So my slope is negative four over one. But just like last time, we should simplify that. Negative four over one is just negative four. So now that I have my slope and y-intercept, I can write my equation. y equals my slope, negative four, times x, and then plus my y-intercept, but since my y-intercept's negative two, I'll write minus two. Technically, you could write plus negative two if you want to, but why add in all those extra symbols? All right, but there's my equation. Okay, so work carefully when you do these. Make sure you pay attention to whether your line is going down and to the right or up and to the right. And then also, make sure you reduce your slopes. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. With, but with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.